East End Lodge, obviously on the furthest east end of Grand Bahama. It was always known of the place to be in the Bahamas. We got there, the clouds just split, the sky opened up, started to give us a little, a little hope that, you know, we're gonna get into something. Run it, run it, run it! <laughs> he goes, call a fire department. He goes, this one's out of control. Right in the corner. Beautiful, Beautiful bonefish. Right? Beautiful bonefish. Time to bonefish. Eastern Lodge, no matter what condition. Keep going slow. Here he comes. Keep going, keep going slow. Keep going. Got him. Pull. Let him go. Nasty. Nasty, buddy. Oh, my oh. word. <laughs> Got him, got him, got him, got him. Got him, baby. Get tight. I'm tight, baby, I'm tight. It's all 90 pounders. 90 pounders? Oh, oh, oh. Big fish, too. It's a big one. Oh, baby, come it's on. It's a big one. Come on, come on. Come on, man. Oh, no, no, Jenna, no. You got to only use medical. It's all the way over here. Yep, yep. Oh, oh. yeah, baby. I got him. Look at him. Oh, my oh. God, Greyhound. been in the Keys since I was two. I mean, hurricanes is part of living in the Keys. Uh, the hurricane of 1935, the most devastating hurricane that's ever hit the Florida Keys, you know. Killed a bunch of our veterans uh, that were down here. And we still pay tribute to them to this day. But when we talk about a hurricane in the Bahamas, Dorian, that's something they've never seen before. That's, that's the, the worst natural disaster they have ever had was a category five. And that sat on top of there for over 24 hours, just powering, muscling its way through everything. I mean, the, the surge, blowing people's houses down. I mean, just flattened it, devastating. Um, my friend Travis Sands, a guide over in the Bahamas, I mean, their house got wiped out. Him and his family actually had to go outside and hold on to a backhoe for over 24 hours in the middle of this hurricane. As this wind's blowing, you know, debris flying, surges rising, just just to survive. I mean, it, it was devastating. Hurricane Dorian was like nothing else we'd have, we had experienced in the Northern Bahamas or the Bahamas in general. It was the strongest storm to ever hit the country um, in our entire history. And the human impact from the storm, uh, a lot of people lost their lives, especially in Abaco and then in East Grand Bahama, um, some of them being um, good friends of mine. Uh, and, and people lost everything, especially in the small communities in East Grand Bahama and Abaco. Like, uh, all these people had uh, was fishing and most of them lost their boats. And a lot of them were bonefish guides and a couple of the lodges got absolutely destroyed. And so they lost their livelihood totally. We were scheduled to go and film in Abaco. And right, actually, as it was about to hit, and we had to reschedule and, and, and let it pass and help any way we can. And all, most of the guides had to go ahead and, and move and, and locate in different areas of the Bahamas to provide for the family, to make a living. And a lot of them went over to Andros. And we met up with Justin Lewis over there and be around those guides. And it was, it was amazing the great spirit they had, even though when they just had to live the worst nightmare ever. You know, fast forward now, two years later, we get to go over and, and, and be in Navico and Grand Bahama again and see Justin Lewis over there. First thing in the morning, we got uh, overcast skies and rain coming down and blowing. And I'm just like, I don't know what we're gonna do, but we're gonna make it work somehow. So getting up early and seeing that, that nasty weather, I'm just, I'm just praying that the heavens are gonna open up and after about an hour of waiting around the lodge and after having breakfast, it did. Um, as soon as those, those clouds move out, it was beautiful sunny skies and thankfully we were able to get out there and get on some nice bone, tailing bonefish right away. I see another school over here. Yeah. See him 
See him coming down past a slick in the middle, coming right yeah. at us. See him. Okay, yeah. so we're going to have to get out. It's a little skinny here. We can't get in. Okay. Uh, the boat server is going to walk to him right now. Well, I'm following your lead, pal. Watch you in that line. Yeah. Ooh, cooler. A little chilly. A little chilly. I see them, they're in that slick patch. Yeah, they're, heading... moving, they're moving away from us now. They're on the left-hand side of that little... Good. Oh. I mean, that's 20 feet away, but... Yeah. Whoa. Good. He's on it, got him, got him, got him, got him. Got, got him, baby. Get tight, got get him. Tight, I'm get tight, tight, I'm tight, tight, baby, I'm tight. <laughs> get around the head. <laughs> nice. So good yeah. job. Look at the size of that fish. This is a beast, dude. Beast mode. <laughs> Matt Park, fish the legend. At Bonefish and Tarp and Trust, we're working to make sure that you'll find healthy populations of bonefish, tarpon, and permit at your favorite destinations. From the Florida Keys to Belize, from the Bahamas to Mexico. But we need your help to fight for clean water and healthy habitats. After all, if we don't conserve our flats fisheries, who will? Please support us today at btt.org and help us bring science to the fight. Silver Kings is brought to you in part by Maverick Boats, Fish the Legend. Yamaha, reliability starts here. Costa, see what's out there. And by Bonefish and Tarpon Trust, bringing science to the fight. Fishing with Jared, I can only describe as an experience every time. Uh, fished with him and Andres, we had an amazing time. He's, what I love about him, he's super energetic, super fishy guy. You just want to be in the boat with him all the time. It just brings the energy no matter what's going on. Like, hey, what's going on there? I see you, I see you get on that mound trying to be as tall as me, dude. Get off that, get on, get on your own mound, dude. There ain't, enough, there ain't enough room for two kings on this mound. God, that's fun, man. Oh, there's a couple more fish coming to join them. Yeah. That's fun, man. Nice fish, Jared. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Doesn't get much better than this, man. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. Stay on your own mound. Stay on my own mound? Stay on your own mound. <laughs> Beautiful fish. All right, spring, bring the leader to me. Got him. Got him. Got him. Nice fish, Jared. Beautiful, man. Want to hold that for me? Yeah, gotcha. Right in the corner. Beautiful. Beautiful bonefish. Right? Beautiful bonefish. Look at that. Look at those coloration. Huh? Beautiful fish. He was very kind to me there. Pop that out with ease. Yep. Very kind. And look at that. That's gorgeous. Hopefully uh, I get the... That's your atypical Grand Bahama bonefish. Look at it. Like, just perfect though. Yeah. Like, flawless. You know, and when they're on, like, I love it when they're on this dark bottom. They get that nice oh. coloration. Okay, oh. he he wants to oh, go. He's gone, and he's you gone. let him go. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, man. That was Absolutely. awesome, man. Very, very special treat to come here and and do it. We're on the board. We're on the board, <laughs> baby. Reminds me of a llama and pork chop. <laughs> <laughs> he's on it. No, you hit him. Hit him. Hit got him. him. Hit him. I got him, baby. Woo! <laughs> nice. Woo! It's so cool to watch that school come yeah. over right at you there. Let's bring him to us. Beautiful. Pop this little. I got him. I got him, yep. Marty. Let's let him go. See ya. All barred up. Good job, buddy. It, it, it sank into me and, and, and made me really realize of how, how bad this, this, this hurricane was. I mean, and this is two years after. The, the cool thing in, in, in a like positive side and something that makes you smile is 
there is a lot of people, locals, that stayed. And uh, they're rebuilding. And, and they're, it's coming back. We reopened March 14th of 2021 to a full lodge. And we, we drew a line in the sand. The buildings weren't even painted. They were like a mustard yellow color, that the way Hardy Plank comes. And I told the guests, I said, don't lean against the walls, the paint's still wet, because the paint was still wet. Um, but we got a full staff of 18 people back and working at this lodge and getting a paycheck every week. And they were very thankful and happy. Great employees, great team that I work with here. What we also wanted to find out was what impacts did it have on the mangroves. So we did some initial surveys that found that the underwater habitat was still intact, bonefish populations were still healthy, but it was evident that the mangroves were very heavily impacted after the storm. We worked with the University of Alabama and did some initial surveys and found that Hurricane Dorian did a number on Grand Bahama, damaging, destroying 73% of our mangroves, and then in Abaco it was over 40% of their mangroves. Grand Bahama and Abaco is the second and third largest uh, bonefish habitat uh, in the Bahamas. And so once the mangroves are removed, it promotes erosion. And so that's why we're trying to get ahead, ahead of the curve and try to prevent erosion. Also try to bring back the habitat and promote biodiversity. Everybody lends a hand, helps your child, the fellow man. Get an extra pair of eyes you can depend on with our most powerful radar yet. Get more power for vastly improved range and higher resolution. Get more fish. Halo 3000 debuts Bird Plus mode. Get more safety with smart new features like Zone Track and Velocity Track. And get more simplicity. With a range of preset modes, Halo radars have never been so easy to use. Halo Open Array from Simrad our most powerful radar yet. Your time on the water is precious. You return season after season to make unforgettable memories, fight a few fish, reconnect with friends, and recenter yourself. If you count on having this time, you need an outboard you can count on to power it. That's why boaters stay with Yamaha for the long run, for life. They know reliability starts here. Silver Kings is brought to you in part by Shimano Fishing Products and G. Loomis Rods. Feel connected. Simrad Chart Plotters. Go with confidence. Florida Marine Tracks. Clarity in navigation. And by Pathfinder Boats. Angler Driven. Oh, it didn't turn over. Go again? That's okay. Strip it. Got him? Got, Got him, him, baby. Nice. Got him, right baby. Next <laughs> <laughs> Got him. I was walking I also. I was watching these holes. I was like, there's got to be a fish in one of these holes. My favorite is also, you're like, right here is like a little back flip. <laughs> flip a Rooney. Come on. Come on. Run it. Run it. Run it. Get on the reel. Run it, run um, it, run Jared. it, run now it. He knows he's <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Jared. Oh. Oh. Hey man, that was cool. Nice. Good fish. Good spot. Any bone fish is a good fish. Yeah. Man. Any fish. Nice. Grand Bahama fish. Rain the top there again. Love the blue of these on the tips of these fish, man. Yeah, these fish right. are so unique that how they can change color depending on the habitat they're in. On this darker grass, they're going to be this nice green. I've even seen them as dark as like an ever evergreen green, or as they're why they're called ghosts of the flats. They're on yep. white sand flats, like you can't see them. Silver, you yep. know. And then look at the look at the turquoise colors on his yep. nose and his head there. Yep. Got it out. You good? Yeah. Good around you. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Little Beautiful fish. fish. All right, get on your way. All right, good job, buddy. Sweet nice man. Fish. Awesome, bud. Awesome. A little. We're over here staring, looking for rumbles. All of a sudden, you're like, hey, Jared, right here is a little. <laughs> right over top of me. 
Dude, if a permit pops up, which it, there's a good chance it might, just be ready, please. Yep, yep. trust me, I'm, yeah. I'm with you. Yeah. Vast areas you can fish on both sides of the point out there. And all these different chains and, and chains of islands and outer flats. And it's just, it's just an amazing fishery it's because it's just like this all together comes to the end right and there. you have both sides, west and oh, east yeah, side and all these islands and all these channels and just, you can always be protected. Wind yeah, doesn't matter. There's far. always somewhere to go. Oh, oh, here they come, here they come. Got him. Got him? Nice. Got Good him. Job. Got him, baby. Bonefish on. Bonefish on. How cool of a place, man. We're sitting here looking for a permit and you get a little sidetracked. Good. Dancing around with some rods. Fish. I know you're uh, you're working hard back there, man. I'll take care of this fish All first. Right. I know yeah, you're I working. Place, so. <laughs> yeah. Come here, baby. Come on, baby. Cool, man. Another beautiful little bonefish. Yep. You know what? We're looking for the permit, but I'm sorry. Yeah. I can't help myself. <laughs> I can't help myself. Let's get him released and get back on these permit. Yep, I'm with you. Permit, permit, permit. Where? Where? Oh. Where is he? Jared. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. See him? Yep. Two of them. Two of them. Destroy. One's closer to you. Put it right in his face. Right in his face. Good. Did he see it? No. Oh, he turned. He turned. Go again. Go again. Good, nice, nice cast. Go to it, baby. They didn't see it. Go forward, go forward. Turn and left. Good, nice cast. Oh, oh he's going back. Right, go back for it, he's going back for it. Find it, baby, he's, he's fine, on he's it. coming. He's on it. Come on. He's on it, he's on it, he's on it. Let him chew on it. Got, got him. him, baby, got him. got him, baby. We got him, baby. <laughs> Good job, man. Here, I'll I'll deal with that. I'm gonna, get on, I'm gonna get on the motor. Okay. Just lay that down. I'll deal with it. Just lay down. I don't like where he's going, bud. I don't like where he's going. Silver Kings is brought to you in part by Free Fly Apparel, Comfort On, Adventure Out, Mako Reels, Built to Last, Built to Stop, by Yeti, Built for the Wild, and by Ameritrail Trailers, Load, Launch, Relax. Load it. Real, real forward. Real forward. Real forward. Get it, Tucker. <laughs> And now, a minute from our conservation partner, Bonefish and Tarpon Trust. We launched our Northern Bahamas Mangrove Restoration Project in 2020 to kickstart natural recovery of mangroves on the islands of Grand Bahama and Abaco that were impacted by Hurricane Dorian. The restoration work benefits fish and wildlife habitat and the lucrative recreational bonefish fishery that thousands of Bahamians depend on and supports coastal resilience for local communities. 
BTT and our partners have planted more than 23,000 mangroves with the help of fishing guides, students, and volunteers. We're now ramping up our efforts and have established six nurseries and will plant 80,000 more mangroves over the next two years to hit our goal of 100,000. To learn about this project and how you can support this vital work, please visit btt.org. To learn more, visit btt.org. He's going! He's going! Where is he? He's up by the rocks, bro. Okay, try to bring him to the left if you can. I'm trying. I got him over here. I'm on. I'm Stay on, there. baby. Stay there. I got it. I'm here. I'm here. Okay, he's out. How you doing? You all right, bro? We're good. We're good. Nice. Okay. Nice. Now we're clear. Okay. 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 Watch yourself, boys. Okay. He's right here, brother. Right here. Go up the bow here. All right. Means... Almost there. Okay. He's almost there. Yep. Not yet. All right. Hold on. Hold on. I got you. I'm neutral. I'm neutral. Get down. Get down. All right. I'm going to turn right. Coming around. Yeah, gotcha. I think you're gonna get your shot right here. Rim to me, rim to me. Come on, baby! <laughs> Perfect! Yeah, man! man. Barely in the corner of the mouth. Yeah, yeah man! man. And it was, it's beautiful. not even only the, it's my first one in the Bahamas. Oh. Come here, man. I got him out here. Take the net. Here, I got the, yep. Oh, Justin. It's been one incredible day, man. Look at that and, and then you really, to catch something like this, to end it, I can't. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta get a couple more though. Well. Other, other species. Uh, you know what, man? <laughs> I think this is the right way to end it, man. <laughs> Having a fish like this, I mean, after that catch, let me get him back in the water a little bit. Yeah. All right, baby, you've been sweet to us. Thank you so much. And you're gone. Good job, Jared. <laughs> dude, that, dude, that right. fight right there was as good as it gets, yes. as exciting as it gets. To all of a sudden, I'm like mess with a bonefish. I'm like, oh my god, permit, oh god, grab it, and then him running. I could feel him in the rocks, but I mean, you don't beat that, man. Nope. Yeah, I mean, my heart rate's up. <laughs> my dude, heart rate's up. It's a very special place. What you said, four thousand here. Yep, and we're also partnering with Bahamas National Trust. They're in charge of all the national parks in the Bahamas. They do a lot of educational work and then Friends of the Environment. They're a local conservation education NGO in Abaco. So we're they're, they're our main leads over there for getting plantings done. But yeah, it's all about collaboration and getting, and getting as many people involved as possible, getting as many people educated as possible because historically, and even to this day, mangroves are still seen as weeds. They're still looked as nuisances, but that's starting to shift now with a lot of the education work we're doing and all our partners are doing. Well, I'm going to keep doing what we brought here, my part, to help you guys get, get to that 100,000 mark. <laughs> and uh, I wish we'd have brought more because I have no problem doing this after what I, how important this is to your guys' obviously environment and all the fishery around here after getting to have some time with you and getting to enjoy uh, being on the bow and fishing here. I would love to do anything I can on my part to keep it and be allowed to come back here and do it again and one day bring my kids to come fish with you and come enjoy this beautiful place as well. And that's what it's all about. Well, that's awesome. <laughs> that's it. Got a few more here. Two more. Okay. Don't put it out with your boots, Ted.